Expansion joints are generally placed in concrete to prevent expansive cracks formed due to temperature changes. Generally, a concrete undergoes expansion due to high temperature when in a confined boundary which leads to different type of the cracks. In this video, I am going to discuss need of expansion joint in concrete, characteristics of expansion joints, types of expansion joint and installation of expansion joints. Uh, so guys, stay with this video till the end. Let's learn something. An expansion joint or movement joint is an assembly designed to safely absorb the temperature induced expansion and contraction of construction materials to absorb vibration, to hold parts together or to allow movement due to ground settlement or earthquakes. Uh, generally they are commonly found between sections of buildings, pavements, bridges, sidewalks, railway tracks piping systems, sheaves and other structures. Building faces, concrete slabs and pipelines expand and contract due to warming and cooling from seasonal variation or the due to uh, other heat sources. Before expansion joint gaps were built into these structures, they would crack under the stress induced. Concrete is not an elastic substance and therefore it does not bend or stretch without failure. However, concrete moves during expansion and shrinkage due to which the structural element shift slightly. To prevent harmful effects due to concrete movement, several expansion joints are incorporated in concrete construction, including foundations, walls, roof expansion joints and paving slabs. These joints need to be carefully designed, located and installed. If a slab is positioned continuously on surfaces exceeding one face, an expansion joint will be necessary to reduce stresses. Concrete sealer may be used for the filling of gaps produced by cracks. Expansion joints permits thermal contraction and expansion without inducing stresses into the elements. An expansion joint is simply a disconnection between segments of the same kind of the materials. In the concrete block construction, the expansion joints are expressed as a control joints. Based on the location of joint, expansion joints are divided into different types. Number one is that bridge expansion joint. Uh, generally, a bridge expansion joints are designed to allow for a continuous traffic between structures while accommodating movement, shrinkage and temperature variations on reinforced and pre-stressed concrete composite and steel structures also. Number two is masonry expansion joint. Clay bricks expand as they absorb heat and moisture. This places compression stress on the bricks and mortar, encouraging bulging or the flacking of that. A joint replacing mortar with elastomeric sealant will absorb the compression forces without any type of the damage. Number three is the railway expansion joints. Usually, expansion joints are not provided in the railway tracks, but if the track is laid on the bridge having expansion joint, it is required to provide. Uh, it mitigates the expansion in base concrete structure. Number four is pipe expansion joints. Pipe expansion joints are necessary in systems that convey high temperature substances such as steam or exhaust gases or to absorb movement and vibration. Based on the type of material used in making of uh, this type of the joints, expansion joints are further classified into different types uh, like a rubber expansion joint, uh, fabric expansion joint, metal expansion joint, 
uh, toroidal expansion joint, gimbal expansion joint, universal expansion joint, inline expansion joint, and lastly, uh, refractory line expansion joint. The depth of an expansion joint is usually one fourth of the slab thickness or more if it is necessary. The expansion joint gap depends on the type of slab like a floating slab floor, vehicle pavement, sidewalk or monolithic slab foundation. It is also influenced by the slab dimensions, type of concrete and the reinforcing materials being used. Cracks in concrete may occur at the expansion joints due to improper concrete mix or the curing. These conditions cause a shrinkage between the expansion joints and cracks can be formed at that place. In that the first type is the pre-concrete installation. When the site is prepared for the concrete pouring and the provisioning of the expansion joints in slab are made prior to the placing of concrete. An individual expansion joint is created by the insertion of a flexible material that runs along the joint length. Number two is that after concrete installation. Once the concrete is set, suitable tools are used for making grooves in the poured concrete for placing the joint materials. So dear friends, this is all about expansion joints in concrete. Next time we will come with a new video with the fresh knowledge. Till then, goodbye and take care.